We started to look at the whole issue of environmental concerns here in Rock Island uh, back in, in 2006. I think in part and prompted by uh, some of the information that Al Gore had put in his movie about uh, global warming and the phenomenon that we've got uh, as a result of that, and partly just as a result of the observation that we were doing too many things that were making us dependent on things that were unhealthy, including Arab oil, uh, as well as uh, consuming uh, uh, the natural resources around it at a rate that just isn't sustainable. Uh, so when I was approached uh, by the Conference of Mayors back in 2006 about signing the uh, a cool Cities Agreement, it didn't take an awful lot of thought to decide that's something we needed to be a part of. And uh, we did do that in January of 2007 and uh, have done a number of things since then to try to give effect to that and really go beyond just what the Cool Cities Agreement talks about in terms of reducing greenhouse gases. We've looked at trying to identify ways that we can actually cultivate a more sustainable lifestyle within the community. And among the other things we've done is we've created what's called an Advanced Technology and Sustainability Consortium. It's a consortium of approximately 25 businesses, primarily located here in Rock Island, that are involved either with advanced technology, which is the use of computer um, and, and high-tech uh, processes, as well as businesses that are involved in sustainable practices, because there's a sense that there is a natural link between these two types of businesses. We've added about 22 hybrid vehicles to the city fleet, to try to reduce our carbon footprint in that manner. And of course, the single biggest thing we've done as a city is go back to the future uh, by buying a 100-plus-year-old hydropower plant on the Rock River. And we're updating that with new equipment that will be generating, when it's fully implemented, about 55% of the city's power needs from hydropower. And we'll be able to go off the grid uh, for that 55%. We'll also be getting some credits that we'll be able to put on the market to allow others to improve their environmental impact. So in Rock Island, we're very much committed to this idea of trying to do what's right for future generations, because that's really what this whole environmental movement's about. It's not about us. It's about our kids and our grandkids uh, and what kind of a world we leave behind. Uh, and I think the numbers are extraordinarily disturbing when one considers the rate at which the world is industrializing, generating greenhouse gases, and consuming natural resources. It's just totally out of line with what's out there. Um, there's no species on the planet that can live in excess of its resources and expect to survive. In fact, one writer recently observed that the human race has been a very costly experiment for planet Earth. Um, but it's a, it, it also is, is a, an experiment that's, uh, that needs to survive and needs to thrive. Uh, and that's what this is all about, figuring out ways we can take an extraordinarily complex situation that requires us changing the way we think and we act and creating that into opportunities for the future by creating new jobs um, and new resources that are less depletable, that are more renewable, that will generate less waste, uh, and that can be conserved over time.